Welcome back to my channel. I'm still out here in Cambodia. Today is actually my last day in this city, the capital city of Cambodia. I was just told this is an old market just around the riverside. So today I'm going to explore the old market of Phnom Penh and I will show you guys what this market has to offer. So if you're a foreigner coming to Cambodia and you want to explore the local markets to get some stuff, then it's the best place to come. I don't know how long this has been here, but I was told this is the first local market. So it's quite refreshing. I just saw some black people. Hey! Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I just see some black people from a distance, and it's good to say hi to them. Yeah, how yeah, long have you been here? Where are you from? How long have you been here? Um, hello, I'm from Morocco. Morocco? Yes. Morocco in the building. In Morocco in Morocco. the building. What are, you do, what are you doing? What are you doing in Cambodia? We're in Cambodia. What are you doing um, here? Actually, I'm here for my China visa because I study in China. So I came to Cambodia because my friends told me, well, it's a nice country. Why okay. not come here? Uh, well, I'm loving it so far. I'm in love with Phnom Penh. Um, I've been to Sihanoukville for like five days, but I'm sorry guys, I didn't like it. I didn't like the vibe, so I'm back here to Phnom Penh. So how long have you been here in total? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. How's the, you told me you live in China, right? So yeah. how's the cost of living in China, Ningbo, as compared to Phnom Penh? Actually, Phnom Penh is expensive. Really? It is expensive. Okay, tell me about it. I find it expensive. I find the food expensive uh, compared to China. And I feel like um, the portion of food that they give in here is small. <laughs> like okay. compared to the price. Okay, we are really foodie. Small. We like to eat. We like to eat. <laughs> we like to eat. We need our food. But yeah. Um, but I guess like the food here is good actually. Um, I did find it a little bit expensive. But it's going pretty well so far. Yeah. From China and Cambodia, what has been the reception from the local people? Like, I believe when I got here, I was really shocked because people don't really care about you being a foreigner. Yeah. Like in China, you get a lot of stares, yeah, 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 people yeah, taking yeah. pictures of you. But, yeah, be like, yo, I've been here for here. five days now, nobody asked me for a picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, so why? True. I'm I not still a celebrity. I'm not still a celebrity. <laughs> so <true. Yeah. laughs> because, like, yeah, I feel like they're used to see foreign Foreigners, people. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, the people here are pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Even the, like, the service, like the staff at my hostel are pretty nice, they're very respectful, like all the people here are very respectful, even like the, the men in Tuk Tuk, they are very like respectful and everything, so I really like it, the people are very nice, yeah. Is there any shocking experience you've encountered here? Anything shocking? Um, anything shocking? Actually, I didn't know the culture of Cambodia. When I came here, I went to the Genocide uh, Museum and I found it pretty shocking that I didn't know about the history of this place, even though it was just in the 70s. But like, the other part of the world don't know about what happened in here. So I was pretty shocked, like, why didn't they teach us this in history? Right, you know, right. in like classes. But yeah, I found that pretty shocking because I didn't know that information. What is the message to foreigners coming to Cambodia in 2024? Um, you will enjoy it, guys. If you come here, come to Phnom Penh, go to Siem Reap, and go to the islands like Korong and everything. People say it's pretty nice. I haven't been there yet, but I will go. They say it's pretty nice. The people here are really, really nice. Um, I guess the prices for other people might be good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, my friend. Cambodia. Good, good, good. Cambodia, good. Yeah. You speak English? No. No English? Yes. Oh, I'm from Ghana. 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 Ghana, yeah. Ghana, Ghana yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm from Ghana. This, this market, old market? Old market. It's old market? Yeah. Okay. So guys, this is one of the old markets in Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia. And today we're going to go inside and explore this old local market here in Cambodia. This is a local market, one of the oldest markets I've been told in the city. So let's get inside and explore. Let's get inside the market and explore. And over here I see bread. Some local food, currency exchange. Hello. Let's explore this local market. 
Oh, they get some hair salons. Hair salon if you want to just get your hair done and to look beautiful. Are you getting your nose painted? Yeah. Wow, you want to look good, yeah? No. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Where are you from? Australia. Australia, I'm from Ghana. Oh, we just met over there. Oh, yeah, we just met over there. Yeah, I'm making videos for my YouTube channel just to show people outside of Cambodia the life out here. Yes. How much does it cost to get your nose done? 7.50. 750 local currency. Uh, US dollars. 7.5. Yes. Oh, 7.5. Good price? Yes. yes. Comparatively from um, uh, Australia, yes. Australia. Absolutely. How much are you gonna pay to get your nose printed in Australia? Um, I don't know because I've never had it done before. Oh. But it would be like fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Like that. Whoa, yeah. amazing. So, meaning it's very cheap in this country. Absolutely. Yeah. You love it here? Absolutely. How long are you going to stay? Uh, we go home tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. I'm also leaving tomorrow to Bangkok. Oh, are you? Yeah. yeah. I live in China, but I'm just here just to make videos for my YouTube channel. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Have an amazing time. Have a wonderful time. You too. See ya. Yeah. So, guys, there you go. It's cheap to get your nails done here, to get your face, your hair, and everything done here in Cambodia. This is the best place to come. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Going. Ah, I'm just making videos for my YouTube channel. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I make videos for YouTube. Oh, what's your channel? Okay, I'm going to show you real quick. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you want to subscribe to my channel? That's nice. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. Australia and Ghana. Let me show you my channel. The network here always sucks when I'm out, but let's see. Hello. <laughs> So this is the name of my YouTube channel. <laughs> King Kwesi. That's you? Yeah, that's me. Oh wow, so yeah, cool. That's me, that's my channel. Okay. So are you getting your hair done or are you getting your nails done? I'm getting my hair done you're getting... and I'm getting my nails done. How much are you going to pay for that? Uh, $3. $3? Meaning it's very cheap to get your nails done here in Australia. Absolutely, right? I've never had my nails done my whole life because <laughs> I can't afford it Oh, I come here. All right, nice. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, all right, Thank right you. here. Thank you for getting a new subscriber out here. And okay, just take a picture. Yeah, so K-I-N-G-K-W-E-S-I. -E when, when you type that on YouTube, you're going to find me and you're going to find yourself. Oh, he got me on yes. the nail. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you have to say to people coming to Cambodia? Uh, What's wonderful, the wonderful. Wonderful, right? Experience, beautiful people, amazing food. Just a great holiday. Just a great holiday. Yeah, a little bit warm. A little bit warm, yeah. So you love it here? I do. I'll be good coming back. You're good coming back. Yeah. So guys, there you go. Come back to Cambodia. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Have Thank you. Have a good time. You too. Yeah, guys, there you go. Yeah, out here. You can get your nails down, your hair done. Very, very cheap price. Come to Cambodia. Thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. Come to Cambodia and get your hair done, your nails done at a very cheap, cheap, cheap cost. Yeah? You know, Cambodia is also a tropical region, so they sell a lot of fruits and vegetables here. Do you have coconuts? No. No coconuts? No. Oh. I want coconuts just to, you know, get loosed up a bit because I'm very very hot coconut coconut no coconut I want coconut but it seems like there's no coconut here on this on these streets all these street vendors are not selling coconuts so in this in this market you can get different variety of stuff like jewelries watches if you want to get your hair done if you want to get your nails down, this is the best place to come in the city. And you're going to get it for a very, very cheap price. Hello, boy. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? High five. Yeah, what's your name? What's your name? <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't speak English. <laughs> you don't speak? You live your best life. Yeah. I think from, from one, one. Yeah, you guys live your best life. You guys live your best life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cambodia, good, good, good. Yes, 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 yes.
Yeah, we are here with the drip man. Yeah, Cambodia, good. Thank you, man. I was just checking my bag to see whether it is still anything for me. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for talking to you. I appreciate it.